Hello, how are you going everyone? I know the market has been extremely bloody in recent times and that really hurts. So in today's video, I'll show you what I'm doing to preserve my wealth and accumulate income during these times of uncertainty. So in today's unsponsored video, I'll introduce Comb Financial over on the Phantom Network. They provide a nodes as a service, which is NAAS, and have ambitions to be much, much more. So in today's video, I'll go over what I've learned about Comb so far, and also walk you through my live step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your first node from start to finish. So if that sounds good to you, please slap me a like and subscribe if you haven't already and activate the notification bell for updates of my future videos. So what does Comb Financial actually provide? Comb creates nodes which support the Phantom Network. They aren't the validator nodes that confirm transaction, but these, these kinds of nodes are responsible for keeping a full up-to-date copy of all blockchain transactions and providing access points where that full copy can be accessed by applications like your crypto wallet, for example, your MetaMask wallet. You can see this when you set up your network to add blockchains in the RPC URL. This RPC URL is an endpoint which attaches to a node, which holds the most up-to-date version of the blockchain. Gradually, as the network becomes more and more popular and busier, and if everyone uses the same RPC URL, you'll experience congestion, slowness, and increased gas fees. Comb is providing more of these endpoints to help maintain and support the Phantom Network. So, Comb provides nodes as a service. Every time a user creates a hive or a node, they are hooked up to operate full blockchain nodes with no technical expertise required. Then, if they wish, they can switch out their own network RPC URL with the provided endpoints of their own node. So, when investors like us buy more comb nodes, or as they say, hives, this helps support the phantom network and, of course, helps fund the comb treasury, which they use in various ways. This revenue then goes back to the Hive owners paid in the form of comb. These node or Hive owners then take profit or compound this into more nodes. Comb is trying to replicate the StrongBlock model who are the OGs of nodes as a service on the Ethereum network and they do this by using a tax when you harvest to avoid people dumping as soon as you get rewards and instead of converting those rewards immediately they incentivize you to convert your comb token into nectar token. Anyway, nectar is one to one value with comb. Right now, nectar's main utility is to purchase more nodes, using the nectar for compounding to reinvest into more nodes to avoid the tax. So if you believe in the protocol, this is perfect. So cone is the token of entry into the ecosystem and nectar is the currency for use. Tokenomics not fully flushed out yet, but in the future they want Nectar to be used for the forefront of purchasing other products like NFTs, in-game items, and they intend to make a suite of decentralized apps which utilizes the Nectar token, which can bring all the commissions which will remain inside the ecosystem, which will benefit everyone. Okay, let's get started on the tutorial part of this video. Okay, so in step one, I'll show you how to get Phantom Blockchain set up on your MetaMask. In step two, I'll show you how to purchase Cone, which, which will be required in order to purchase your Hive or Node. And in step three, I'll show you how to set up and purchase your Node on the site and start making some passive income, as well as how to harvest your rewards. Okay then, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, you need to set up your MetaMask so that you can use the Phantom blockchain. So first, go to their website, links in the description, and fill in all the info into your MetaMask and save it. Okay, so now I need to bridge some of my BNB over from BSC network. So I can easily do that from SpookySwap. So now I'm going to switch to the BSC network for now. Then I'm going to click on the bridge tab. Uh, from chain is BSC. To chain is Phantom. 
token is BNB, then click, then click Bridge Token and confirm on your MetaMask. This actually took me about three minutes. Now change your network over to the Phantom network in your MetaMask once that goes through. Click on the token you bridged, click on Max and convert that to Phantom and confirm. Now go on over to Comb Financial website and connect your MetaMask and click on Buy Comb. And that's just to ensure you don't accidentally purchase a scam token. All right, that'll take you to the correct one. And this will take you over to Spirit Swap, decks where you can purchase the amount of comb you wish. Click on Approve, Swap, and confirm that. And if you want, you can easily add that token to your MetaMask by going into the Block Explorer. And click on the token and then copy the contract address. Return to your MetaMask and click on Add Tokens and paste that into the contract address. Then import the, and then import the token and now you'll see that those tokens in your wallet. Now return back to their site and click on Create Hive, name it, then Approve and Create and Confirm. Now you should be able to see your hive below. Hey guys, I'll quickly show you how to claim now that the node is up and running. As you can see, I've got four nodes up now and the token price has increased a bit. Currently my data rewards are about 1.81 comb, which comes to around $330. So if you want to claim, press the claim button. I can claim my comb now, but I'd need to pay quite a hefty tax but I, can't, uh, but I can wait a bit, and as I, the longer I wait, uh, gradually the tax will go down. Okay, and alternatively, I can click the orange button and just compound that into Nectar, which makes that tax-free, and with that Nectar, I can purchase more hives or more nodes. Okay, so my goal is to uh, accumulate more and more nodes for the time being, and then uh, see how it goes from there. I'll probably start taking profits after that. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and if you did, please don't forget to uh, slap me a like, and I really appreci appreciate a comment. Uh, thanks very much guys, and if you want to see uh, some more projects similar to this, please give me a shout out, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much, and see you next time. Bye for now.